Welcome students. Let us see today a very interesting question from the chapter sets. This question is based on the topic complements of a set. So, what is the complement of a set? Let us see this question. It will be very clear. You can understand it very easily. Let u, u, what is u? u is universal set. So, let universal set is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Set A is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B having elements 2, 4, 6, 8. And set C is having elements 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Then we have to find there are six parts of this question. First A complement, second B complement, third A union C whole complement, fourth A union B whole complement, fifth A complement, double complement. Okay. And sixth B minus C whole complement. So, let us do these questions one by one. Very simple, very interesting question. It will be very clear that how we can get complement of a set. So, first of all you have to see universal set. Okay? It plays a very important role in finding out complement of a set. So, universal set is having these nine elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay? And first question here we have to find A complement. How to get A complement? A complement is equal to universal set minus set A. From the universal set, we delete, we remove those elements which are available in set A. Okay? So, here you need, let us write the set completely so that it will be more clear, more uh, easy to understand. So, here universal set is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and minus set A. We have to find out A complement. So, universal set minus set A and set A is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is equal to this will be another set. Difference of two set is again a set. Okay? So, here from this universal set we have to remove these elements of set A. 1, 2, 3, 4 will be removed from here when we will subtract this set A. Then remaining elements will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Remaining elements are here 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and this is the answer. Very easy, very simple. Okay. Similarly, we can do second question also. We have to find B complement and B complement means universal set minus set B. Again universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and minus set B. Set B is having elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6 and 8. So, these elements of set B will be deleted, will be removed from set A. So, here this 2, 4, 6, 8 will be removed from this set. So, remaining element in B complement will be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, all odd numbers. So, all odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. This is the value of B complement. Now third question, A union C whole complement. So first of all here you will find A union C. Okay? We have to find here A union C whole complement. But before finding this A union C whole complement, we need to find A union C. Okay? Let us find first A union C. So, say, let us write these two sets completely A and C. Set A is having elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. Union set C. Set C is having elements 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5 and 6. And this is equal to union of two sets is again a, another set. And how to get union? we have to collect all the elements 
from both the sets. We will write common elements in two sets only once. We will not repeat, okay? But rest of the elements will also be written here. So, by collecting all the elements from these two sets, we will get A union C having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now we can find A union C whole complement as we have done in previous cases in question number 1 and 2. How to get it? This will be universal set minus A union C. Correct? And universal set is having element 1 to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 minus A union C we have got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have to subtract these two sets. So in this subtraction these elements of set A union C means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be deleted from universal set. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be removed from this set. So remaining elements will have 7, 8, 9 here. So this is equal to a set having elements 7, 8 and 9. This is the answer. This is the value of A union C whole complement. Correct? Now similarly we can find out A union B whole complement also. Question number 4 here we have to find out A union B whole complement we have to find out here. So first of all what we will find? First of all we will find A union B. Okay. So let us find A union B. Let us write these two sets A and B completely here. So set A is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4 union set B okay and set b is having elements 2 4 6 8 2 4 6 and 8 and you know union is collection of all the elements from both the sets so 1 2 3 4 6 8 here 1 2 3 4 6 and 8 this is a union b now we can find out a union b whole complement very easily Okay, this is universal set minus set A union B and universal set is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 minus A union B, this set having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. This is equal to here subtraction of two sets again. So these elements of set A union B has to be removed from this set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8 will be removed here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. So remaining elements are 5, 7, 9. 5, 7, 9. This is the answer. Very interesting. Okay. So we can do remaining questions also very easily. Question number 5. A double complement means complement of A complement. Okay. Here complement of A complement. How much? Here first of all we will find out A complement. Okay. Let us find out A complement here. So A complement means universal set minus set A. We have got here in first question itself A complement we have got here. Okay. So by following the same process that we have done here, u minus a will give a complement and this is equal to how much? This is a set having elements 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Correct? This is a complement. Now we have to find out a complement whole complement means universal set minus a complement. So you know universal set is having elements 1 to 9 and we have to remove the elements of A complement means 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 
will be removed from universal set. So, remaining elements will be after removing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the answer. Correct? And last question. Sixth, here we have to find B minus C whole complement. We have to find here B minus C whole complement. So, before finding B minus C whole complement, First of all, what we will find? We will find B minus C, isn't it? So, we will find here B minus C. Let us write these two sets completely. Set B is having elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6 and 8 minus set C. Set C is having element 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, let us do this. Let us subtract set C from set B. Means we have to remove these elements if available in set B. So, 3 is not here, 4 will be removed from here, 5 is not here, 6 is here, 6 will be removed. So, remaining elements will be 2 and 8. This set having elements 2 and 8. This is the value of B minus C. Now, we can find B minus C whole complement using this formula universal set minus B minus C. Okay? And universal set is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and C is uh, sorry B minus C is having elements 2, 8. So, these two elements 2, 8 will be removed from universal set. Okay? So, rest of the elements will be here 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9. This is the answer. This is the value of B minus C whole complement. So, these all questions are based on complements of a set and complement of any set can be obtained by subtracting this set from universal set. And one very interesting result we have got here that a double complement is set A itself. So, double complement of any set is equal to the set itself. Okay? You see set A is having elements uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, A double dashed, A double complement is equal to set A itself. Okay? Very interesting. So, these are very simple interesting questions, but most of the time these questions are asked in your school examination in your board examination. So, be prepared for these questions. Questions are very simple and students here I will expect that you are getting benefit from these videos. I am trying to present these questions in a very interesting manner, interesting way. So, I hope you might have subscribed to my channel also. If not, please do it immediately and share these videos to your friends also. So, keep watching this video and enjoy mathematics learning. Thank you very much.